G'day all, welcome to another tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at one of the final things that we should go through before we start um, writing useful um, functions in assembly. This is um, branching or jumping or just go to really in uh, basic in C++. And um, we also need to look at labels and the compare command. So first things first, labels. A label is just a um, label. Label I bell, that's better. A label is just a uh, identifier, like this. Any uh, valid variable name is good enough, with a colon at the end. And uh, you can jump to the label. You have to be careful with label names that you don't use something that's already the name of a uh, instruction. So loop happens to be an ins assembly instruction, so the compiler reads that and it thinks um, yeah, that's the assembly instruction, I understand that, but what on earth is the uh, colon doing at the end? Same obviously with um, RAX, that's just going to baffle the compiler. It'll see RAX and think, gosh, that's a sweet place to put a colon, dude. Alrighty. So um, once we've got a label in place, we can jump there. First of all, we'll uh, introduce the uncondition all, the unconditional jump whose syntax is this, reg, mem, and also label. So probably the um, easiest version to use is this one on the end, jump to a label. For that we just type the label's name. Simple as that. Uh, the unconditional jump. We'll skip any code in here, so maybe mov eax25, for example. Um, that line will be skipped. As soon as the uh, CPU takes the or sees the jump my label, it's going to be so ex so excited by the jump uh, being unconditional that it'll just skip straight down to here without any questions. Um, okay, so the reg version. If you want to jump to a register, what does that mean? Um, well, <laughs> it, <laughs> sorry, it means um, if we've got a label in a register, so say RBX has the value. Oops, what in the world am I spelling? If RBX has the value my label in it, then uh, instead of jumping to my label, we could just jump to RBX. It's the same place, no worries. Um, really interesting things start to happen because we can, um, for instance, add RBX 23, then jump to RBX. What's going to happen now? Well, it's going to jump to RET, which is the um, first command of my label, but it's not going to stop jumping there. It's going to go a further 23 bytes in RAM. What's it going to end up on? Well, who knows? Somewhere down here. Windows is probably going to get really angry. But, um, <laughs> never mind. Uh, mem is the same as reg, obviously. You can just put um, a label in um, a variable instead of a register and then jump to the variable. But um, there is an easier way to do this um, offset here. So we added 23 there. But if you like, you can just put the um, my label plus 23. And, uh, It'll do the same as we were just describing. It'll jump to ret plus 23 bytes. Um, it's actually it's really useful and really good fun to be able to put these offsets in. But um, we can have a look at those tricks a bit later on. So I should just change that to it's actually label plus offset if you like. Alrighty. So that's the unconditional jump. But um, obviously we want to be able to make um, conditions and decisions at some point. So. Um, the first instruction that we'll introduce is the compare instruction. And its mnemonic is CMP and its reg, sorry, its parameters are reg mem and the other one is reg mem imm. -M. So uh, as per usual, I've written mem here as both parameters, but um, you can never have both. Uh, operands as memory, one of them's got to be a reg or register. So what does this do? Well it compares operand 1, this one, to operand 2, this one, and it sets the flags register based on that comparison. So for example, um, mov, let's say uh, ECX89, see I'm trying to be a, uh, whatever, <laughs> mov EBX56 and comp ECX EBX and um,
straight after this comp, or usually very close to this compare instruction, um, you'll have your conditional jump. Um, so the conditional jumps are, well let's introduce them shall we, they're um, JE means jump equal, we've got um, JNE means jump not equal, and we've got JL is jump if less, JNL jump if not less, JG is okay, JG is jump if greater, um, JNG jump if not greater. No, oh, what am I talking about? JLE jump if less or equal. Sorry about that, I was just making things up. <laughs> um, JGE is um, jump if greater or equal. Those other ones are probably jumps as well. There's a whole bunch of these jumps, but um, these are the important ones. Um, this you'll sometimes see as um, JB, jump below. This you'll sometimes see as JA, or jump above. Jump equal, you'll sometimes see JZ for jump zero. And jump not equal, you'll sometimes see JNZ, jump not zero. The reason for that is that the um, compare instruction actually um, is the same as sub. It's the same as doing this. I mean, it sets the flags the same, but it doesn't store the answer in um, the first operand. So if we were to subtract um, EBX from ECX, um, if they were equal, the answer would be zero. Does that make sense? That's why JE and JZ are actually the same thing, and why JNE and JNZ are actually the same thing. All right. I don't know. Let's have a look at how to use them. So up here we've got um, where are we? Now compare. Um, say we want to know if the value in ECX is um, greater than the value in EBX. We might do something like um, JG, my label. Alrighty, so if ECX is greater than EBX, we want to jump to my label, which is down here somewhere. If it's not greater, in other words, if EBX is greater than ECX, or if they're equal, um, it'll fall down to here, fall through down to here. These are comments. The um, semicolon. Anything after the semicolon is a comment. I suddenly became aware just, um, I don't know, a while back, that maybe I didn't, I didn't uh, mention that those are comments. They're always ignored by the compiler. Anyway, um, yeah, or we could have JL would mean jump if ECX is less than EBX. Do be careful because it's not the other way around. It's not EBX is less than ECX. Um, you've got to got to remember that it's um, comparing the first operand to the second. Alrighty. And um, these um, conditional jumps I'll just put here um, conditional jumps Um, sometimes you'll just see JXX to mean um, all of these conditional jumps, and there's a whole bunch more as well. Um, there's pretty much one for each of the flags in the flags register. But um, we can have a look at the flags register shortly. Label. Okay, this is something to be careful of. Um, the conditional jumps only have the label plus offset syntax. You can't jump to a reg or a mem only the label plus offset syntax. Does that make sense? Okay, well the one final thing that I want to say is that um, compare sets a bunch of flags based on the two operands, but um, many, many other assembly instructions also set the flags, and you don't have to do an additional compare. Alright, so let me just um, get rid of all this stuff and I'll show you what I'm talking about.
do remember that uh, oh well whatever okay so this is this is a really common um, just a bunch of instructions that you'll see again and again and you'll use them again and again as well this is just a basic loop mov ecx the counter 10 I'll call it main loop um, notice that you can't call it loop remember because that's um, an assembly instruction that's a reserved word but um, dec decrement ecx means uh, subtract one from ecx jump not zero so um, as soon as ecx is decremented to zero it's going to stop running through this loop and um, unless something very peculiar is happening uh, it'll do it ten times so let's have a look and we can watch ecx count down as we do hit f5 after setting a breakpoint okay ecx has got a it's got 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Um, here's the flags registered down here too. So what's going to happen is um, when ECX gets dec decremented to um, 0, we'll see the 0 flag light up and change to 1. So this will turn to 0 here, and this will change to 1 here. And um, then the IP, instead of jumping up here, will obviously uh, fall down to the RET it will um, neglect to take the branch if you will alrighty two one here we go zero so the zero flags become one and uh, ECX has become one and just as we'd suspected uh, it didn't take the loop it jumped down to ret okay so decrement sets the flags add sets the flags sub sets the flags ink sets the flags it pretty much everything sets the flags you know um, MOV doesn't set the flags, jumps don't set the flags, but um, pretty much all of the arithmetic instructions set the flags and uh, a whole bunch more too. Okay, well I hope that wasn't too confusing, I know that was a lot of um, jumps to introduce at once, but they're all pretty simple. Just um, jump, jump equal, jump not equal, jump less, jump greater, jump less or equal, jump greater or equal. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory stuff. So. Um, yeah, that's it for another round. We're just about ready to um, program some really useful algorithms. And uh, thank you for listening. Bye.